Phoenix. Did you do that? Mm -hmm. I figured you didn't. I was waiting for you to do it. You didn't do it in the last video. I was waiting for you to do it. That's your job. Previously on Gus the Struggle Boys. I have found out how to bypass interlock system. Here in this box what you guys have told me and what i found out is that this wire all that it is through the whole bus is a grounding wire so the way that we have replaced it we replace this wire that goes to over here all the way to a grounding area right here and now we see the bus will actually start so today it's going to be doing small jobs here and there with stuff in all this box here and we're gonna start with gaskets finally to make things more waterproof water sealed so we got a couple rolls of this that we are going to start putting on the storage unit doors down here they are three quarter by three quarter inch three quarter inch wide but three quarter inch tall um, hopefully this should be tall enough not too tall uh, for the gaskets to do what they need to do. What they need to do. Hold up. Okay, so after testing the gaskets and seeing where we think they could go, uh, our original plan to put them on the inside where the metal meets metal, uh, it's not going to cut it because once we put this on here and press this down, uh, the metal warps and pushes back and doesn't have that connection that it needs to. So we're going to put it on the actual uh, angle irons and close it so like that it'll do a good enough, we'll call it technical term, squish to where there is no water coming through. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and clean the surface to make sure that everything is nice and neat. There's no dirt, there's no dust. This is 3M high yield bond, high strength bond. There was a couple of different options for what sticky to use. We decided to use this one because it is going to work better over time and it's going to be less uh, perceptive or less receptive to dust and things like this. So let's get to it. and see how it closes. It's definitely a tight seal. You don't want it to be too tight, but it still wants to be tight enough to where it does what it's supposed to. I think we'll be able to shut it. I'm gonna have to adjust the length of this so that it closes properly because right now it's not even touching it so I'll, that's probably what I'll work on next adjusting the length of the just adjusting the length of this part right here to come a little bit further out so that it'll actually catch onto the metal because once we put the gaskets on there it's probably put on probably a quarter of an inch more so I'll have to adjust that so we have our gaskets on we have our first thing checked off the list um, bit of a double-edged sword, I guess. They seem that like they're gonna work really, really well. Um, that they're gonna seal it up, and that it's gonna be a tight fit. But it might be too tight of a fit, and we're not able to tighten the latch all the way. We've lengthened it to as far as it goes, but it doesn't quite go, and we can't push hard enough. So we're gonna try a few more things, see if we can jimmy it into place 
and if not we might have to get some sort of latch to put at the very bottom that will shut the door as tight as it can go then close it and lock it so we're gonna see if we can get it to work so we don't have to buy or install anything else we're gonna keep messing with it but for now we are gonna move on to the next thing these doors are pretty heavy they ended up being pretty heavy and it's a lot of work to lift it up if you want to get something out of it so what we got is a couple of gas struts we got gas struts i'm saying it as in it's two words because we decided gas struts is something you get when you have gas what's a gas strut look like baby and we are going to see how they work with just lifting the door for whenever we want to quickly get something out and they just want to be able to lift on their own and stay up you don't have to hold it up so now we are going to work on installing these right now we have two and we only have one set of these little things because apparently they come separately and we're going to work on installing one and just seeing how it works these guys just have around 100 pounds of pressure we don't know exactly how much these weigh but these should be definitely strong enough to lift these up on their own but are we strong enough to push them down on our own? So what I'm going to attempt to do right now is cut just a little strip off so we can get about three inches off of this, um, off of this two by four off. So we can have a nice block to put on the inside of this. So we're then after that, we can go ahead and attach this small little ball bearing onto here. And this is right here is where the gas strut is going to fall and then we'll have to attach this one onto that onto the door. This means gonna go somewhere over here. You said you're not, that's 90 degrees? I'm pretty positive. You can get up and check it. So, once I go ahead and attach it through here, this should be able to go ahead and come down and come up without any problem. Say something. Moment of truth. Hold up on its own? Yeah, it's only up on its own. Wow. Rule of truth is whether it'll close. Oh. Yeah? Smooth? Yeah, absolutely. <gasps> <laughs> That's going to make things so much oh, easier. Yeah. Let it go? <laughs> my tool. Oh. I love it. <laughs> Yeah. Next thing on the agenda for these beautiful storage doors so they can be pretty much finished, we want to also use them as tables. But, you know, you come out here and you set something on it, and even though it's awesome and so much easier to get stuff out of now, we want to be able to put a grill or food or outdoor or whatever on it, and it's not safe to use these gas struts for that support. So the gas struts are going to be to make it easier to get stuff out of. Now we're going to add chains and hooks so we can set them up to use as outdoor tables. For this project, we'll be using these, these, oh no, and this. <laughs> so we ordered a bag of these little carabiner and what, what, were, what did we, closed loops? What did yeah, we, closed loops closed hooks or something I don't know people uh, in the comments were using them for their kids swing set and stuff like that so we know they're really strong 
And then we got a 15 foot length of chain from Home Depot. So now let's set up our tables for us to have our picnics by the beach at. Okay, so we're going to be installing these, the closed loop hooks or whatever you want to call them here to the side. So we're just pre-drilling first. And we're going to be using the same deck screws that we've used all around this uh, door just to attach them. So for attaching them to the door, we used this uh, closed loop hook and the same screws that we used for the door, which were deck screws. Now, for attaching it to here, we're going to be using the same closed loop hook, but on top of that, we're also going to be using a number eight, one and a half, one and one half inch um, stainless steel bolts. And of course, on the other side, we're going to be using lock nuts. loved using the butyl tape for the windows and then the roofing tape with the butyl tape on it for the hatches we just felt like it gave a really good seal so you might have seen when we did the side doors with the locks we don't have any just butyl tape but we still have a huge roll left over of the roofing tape so we painfully scrape off the butyl tape and put it around the edge and then put the lock in so it would have a good seal and now we are doing the same for these that are going uh, on the side of the bus. It's not easy to get it off and it sticks to everything and it's, it's very difficult. But this is the end product. Don't mind this hole. <laughs> <laughs> One of our holes for these supports that you just saw went straight into a channel, so we weren't able to use that one. We had to move over a little bit, and we're going to have to patch that up, but <laughs> right next to it worked, so... Yeah. Beeping. What is it? Say hi to the people. Hi, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Just installing some chains on my my doors. There we go. Yay! Looks good. It looks so good. Looks good. I was so excited. So we worked long into the cold night and we finished our storage doors and everything that we had in mind for them, which is really exciting. So the only thing that we didn't have was a, another set of ball bearings to put the gas strut on this one. So once we get those ordered, uh, we can put the gas strut on this one and it'll be easier to do this with. But let me show you what we did. I'm so excited. <laughs>
tables. All you have to do is press this button over here on the side, and it'll. <laughs> That's so cool. There's no button. I just pushed it up a little bit. I love it so much. And this one has chains as well. to our next step but like I said down below we're gonna link the gaskets the chains the hooks and the carabiners the gas struts that we use maybe the deck screws everything that we did to finish these and if you want to know more details about the actual storage units themselves the locks how we built them and everything